Alright, it is time for the Lincolnian special. It is 7 o'clock on Thursday evening. We've got Katie Benson over here. And we have Alex over here. Tonight we have a great show for you guys. We have an anonymously written script about uh, jazz being removed in a town similar to Lincoln. Man, I wonder what this could be about. Well, a... a According to what I have in front of me, it might be a hot button issue, all right? In 1924, community leaders in Lincoln decided that the performance and instruction of jazz music was a detriment to the younger generation. A detriment? Yeah. The lively nature of jazz improvisation struck up late night parties the leaders did not approve of. So, community leaders decided to build a wall around the town to protect it from any musical sounds resembling jazz or any music in general. Unlike the rest of America, Lincoln becomes kind of a prison where true American music is never seen nor heard in public. Hold, hold, hold. You gotta pause right there. You gotta pause. A detriment? Wait, they said that unlike the rest of America, I wonder how long, who implemented this? This is crazy. Seems like some authoritarian regiments some... here. It's not good, all right? How has this not been talked about yet? It's a good question. No, yeah. Good question. <laughs> All right. And this kind of script goes into the implications in the future of what might happen God, if jazz is banned. I want to do banned. something like that. I don't know. I think I think creativity is quite important. But what they didn't realize at the time was the wall was contaminated with chemicals, hmm. which seeped into the town's water supply. That's, now, I just really want to know why was jazz so important for them to fight the government over? I think it. I think it's more than just jazz here. Okay, jazz is the target it is the boogeyman but what's behind that yeah, yeah. is creativity I, I it is know what our input from thinks. yourself it is personalization these kids 100 years later are going to look a hell of a lot different too so a year after jazz was banned in 1925 the town was renamed to grayton county and basically with hopes that no lawsuits would be filed from the towns around i wonder how that went <laughs> So it says almost a hundred years later, the town leaders continue to insist music in any form is harmful and could make their children go crazy. I'll go crazy just not having it. I mean, and the not. council continues to be packed with anti-music parties. Lord, the town folks believe they may never get the music back and I'm right with them. Yeah, that sounds pretty bleak here. The music has not been heard within the walls of Grayton County for almost a century. So unless citizens have traveled outside of the city limits, most have never heard musical instruments, let alone wow. knowing how to play them, you know? This situation seems futile until one day. The music man wanders into Logan County and makes a stop in the town of Grayton County. And that has me raising some questions of who is this music man? Who is he? What, what does he do? Well, let's find out.
be sure like that. Library. You can't play music here, it's not allowed. I'm gonna have to actually leave. I'll, if you refuse, I will call the police. You have to go. What is that? I think it's old music. That's music? Hold, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna play some of my music because it's probably better and it's portable. All right, ready for this? Yo, what was that noise? What are you talking about, man? Yo, this place is strange, but even that was out of place. What are you talking about, man? This is this is the top stuff today. Nah, from where I'm from, music is used for entertainment, for dancing, festivals, enjoyment, and not for headaches. Okay? I make music for a living. Uh, so you know any of these? Oh, yo, these are classics. Classics? You look like they haven't been touched in a century. Well, actually they haven't. Jazz has been banned for a hundred years of tomorrow. Wait, so that is the only music you guys know? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Give me a second. It's be such a crime to not know. What is he doing? I don't know. What is that? Do you know what that is? What is, what is it? It's called a spaceship. It's called a spaceship? To not know such things. A guitar, guys. A guitar? Yes, right. That's right. I this haven't is... heard anything like that before. This is music? That's right. I was wrong, man. My stuff sucks. This is this. This is awesome. What? This isn't like anything I've ever known. You like that? The music that we sing, we do it all again. So we went to reasoning. In my soul that lives within the energy that ties you and me in harmony. When I look into your eyes, when I look into your eyes, when I look into your eyes. When I look into your eyes. Yeah, the sounds of the gospel says too much spice. Already had that discussion, yeah. Uh, we don't get anywhere. Tired of all the fussing. I see you moving your feet. Don't deny it's a sponge. We've been through hard times. All we know is this rush, yeah. All we know is this rush. Show it, show it, grow it, grow it, grow it, grow it, grow it. Oh. 
You guys cannot be playing this music out here in public. Make this your first and last warning, all right? All right, all right, we gotta go, man. Yeah, man, let's just go to my house. Nobody's home. We can, we can practice there. All right, cool. Let's go. So, which house is yours, bud? It's that one right there, man. Can't you tell? Mm, nah. Actually, I, I, I couldn't. I mean, really looking around here it makes you wonder what's on the other side. This place is so bleak. Why would anyone want to build something so uniform? You know, it really is the mayor's doing. He built this wall to isolate us, to keep us in. It's no surprise we can't have music. So this place, all the buildings are really built the same here? Yeah, all of them except for the town hall over there. That's, that's where the mayor lives and stays most of the time. Apparently he feels safer away from his people. Yeah, I mean, I would too if I was connected to the removal of jazz. So you are this mayor I've been hearing about. Yeah. Hopefully great things, because I'm a great guy. Hmm, that's the message I got, as a librarian wouldn't let us play music in a library. I guess which is understandable because, you know, librarians should be really quiet. Can we play some music here? Music? We don't play that here in my town. And if you break the law, we enforce it here. Hmm. So, I got things to do. So, do what you guys want. That's legal. And I'll see you guys later. See ya. Well, uh, that was inconspicuous. Seems like that dude's really guilty to some degree. Yeah, I really feel like we're gonna run into some issues with him. Well, you know what? Let's go, man. All right. Yeah. Forget it. Maybe Mobby was right. This place is so strange, it doesn't allow for any customization. We can't express ourselves. Well, you guys know what I always say.
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. You just had to push it, didn't you, buddy? On, man. No. Hey, man, no. No. no, that's it. No, you're going. No, don't fight it, Jesus. Hey, oh don't God. fight it, Jesus. Hey, come oh, on. Don't fight it. Hey, stay back. Back up. Hey, oh. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's it, buddy. He's going, he's going what did he do? Oh, man, he's going downtown. Hello, Mary Grant? Yeah. Yeah, the situation, it has been terminated. We should have no more music problems here. Yep, we're all good. All right. Talk to you later. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I, th I thought I could take him. I, I was wrong. I was strong enough. Don't say that. You were fighting all by yourself. If me or Mommy would have went in, the results would have been the same. You're not just fighting for one person here. Exactly. I'm just sorry I got you guys all into this mess. All for some silly music. Like what? Silly music? What, what are you talking about, man? Are you silly? I've, I've never known anything like this. I am willing to fight for it. Really? This means that much to Absolutely! You? All because we try to express ourselves. You're right. We gotta give it all we can. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta get there. Yes, but there's one problem. We're stuck in here! You know, she's right. Um, you guys got any ideas? Mobby here, Andy Duncan, Danny Jepson. You're free to go. Your bail has been paid in full. What? Yo, wait. <laughs> what do you mean her bail has been paid in full? I don't know. Some lady, she paid for it in full. Free to go. What do you guys think we should do? I mean, we're free, but what power do we really have? Follow me. I've got a few friends. Done deal. We will redirect all the money and take it for ourselves. Hey, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, we got a problem. Though. What could be so important that you're stopping me in the middle of this well, meeting? I think you should come see for us for yourself. I think we're surrounded, man. Are you? Yes. Surrounded by what? People. Here he is. There's that snake that got me beat up and thrown in jail. Yo, now hold on, Andy. Let's not get emotional. All right? Okay, okay. He's right, you know. Our first member right is crying right now from how many times this man has trampled on it. But we have more than enough the case legally. We don't need to put our hands on him. All right. What do you mean, Shut send up. me away? This is my town. Shut my up. palace. Shut my up. kingdom. Just shut up, okay? Just shut up. Oh, really? Well, the entire town outside would like to have a talk. About what?
Ladies and gentlemen of Lincoln, what do y'all think of our new mayor, Mobby? The way he portrays emotion through music is so genuine. It's really what we need to hear. And you might not have known, but he is the reason why we are speaking to you tonight and singing freely. Guys, fight for what you think is right and don't falter for anyone. Stand, even if you are alone, for what is right. This is no longer Great Ten County, but we are Lincoln, all together. And guys, I want to say this. Always believe in yourself. Never forget who you are. And never falter from anyone. I love you guys. Good night.